when you were in World War II, how did you keep your love for baseball alive? Well, uh, I was always a ball player at the high school level. And uh, when I went into the service, uh, somehow or other, I wound up playing a little ball in, uh, when we got to Hawaii. And on Hawaii, uh, we had two major leaguers playing. And I played first base, and I always had my glove with me. I don't know why I brought it with me during the war, but uh, the third baseman was Ken Keltner from the Cleveland Indians, and then there was a kid named Eddie Lake from Chicago. And uh, when they threw the ball to me, I said, oh my God, because it was flying. You never dropped it because it took your hand with you. <laughs> and, uh, and then we gave that up because we went overseas, we went to Okinawa. Growing up in the Bronx, what do you remember coming to Yankee, Yankee Stadium as a kid? Uh, my mother used to give me, you know, in those days they gave you a deposit on a milk bottle. So you got two cents a bottle. She used to save up the bottles and give me the bottles so I'd have money to walk to Yankee Stadium from the Bronx. I'd get to the stadium, we all sat in the bleachers for 55 cents. In those days we saw everybody in double headers, same price, 55 cents. And all the real ball players were in the bleachers. It was great. I loved it. I was a kid. Uh, Today, you, you couldn't walk on the street. Then I was been 10 years old and walked all the way to the stadium myself. But it was good. I saw everybody. I saw uh, Selkirk, Hendrick. I knew all the Yankees. We used to know uh, their batting averages. We were very close with it, even as kids, eight, nine, 10 years old. And I saw DiMaggio, everybody. It was great, great days. What does it mean to you to be recognized as veteran of the game in the iconic Yankee Stadium? It's uh, really awesome. I was quite surprised. I didn't know anything about it. My, uh, <clears throat> one of my grandsons uh, played a dirty trick on me, and he called me up and he said that they, he was doing a term paper in school on me, and he wanted all my information, and he wanted my discharge papers, and I sent it to him. I said, oh, that's nice. And about three weeks later, my son called me and said, you know, that story that Noah told you, he says, he was lying. He sent it to the Yankees. <laughs> I said, really? And somehow it got screwed up last year, and then they called now, and they said, please come. So I flew up and came. I think the Yanks should have sent the plane for me, right? Because I came from Boca Raton, Florida. <laughs> but it's, it's eventful. The whole family is here. I got about 10 people here. Awesome. Well, we're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for serving our country and joining us on this interview. It's my pleasure. It's awesome. It really is awesome.